Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make Raspberry Shrub. I feel like I should be wearing my Birkenstocks when I do this. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> right, yeah. Because this is kind of a hipster thing to do, or like we should wear tie-dye t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Somebody was sitting around one day and said, what can I throw into a cocktail to make something unique and new? And they said, hey, let's throw in one of these drinking vinegars. Right, exactly. That will upset the apple cart. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what a shrub is, essentially. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a, a, a vinegar uh, syrup yep. that's usually fruit-based. Yep. So it's, it's fruit, vinegar, and then and sugar. Yeah. yeah. And they used to use the vinegar to preserve the fruit. Yeah, right? back in the day when they didn't have refrigeration or anything yeah. like that. People sat around with nothing to do. No <laughs> TVs to watch or Game Boys to play. No air conditioning, so everybody's yeah. sweating and smelling. And they were really <laughs> crabby, right? <laughs> right. Um, but nowadays, people are putting it in cocktails, mm -hmm. and it's not that hard to make. No. For this recipe, you need some raspberries, mm -hmm. right? 18 ounces, some vinegar. Typically, you'll use an apple cider vinegar. We prefer a white balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. We got this vinegar at one of those olive oil shops that you see at the mall, right? right. It never has anybody in it. Right. <laughs> so, but it's very delightful in shrubs. We like it a lot. And mm -hmm. then some sugar, so it's simple, yeah. right? Easy. You rinse your raspberries and then dump them into a glass jar. Then add the same amount by weight, 18 ounces of granulated sugar, and aggressively stir that. You wanna liquefy everything. So break up the raspberries with the back of your spoon, stir it around aggressively, release as much raspberry juice as you can, and that will combine with the sugar and get it dissolving. Then put on the lid and let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. The next day you wanna add your vinegar and we're adding 16 ounces. And this is 16 fluid ounces of the vinegar. Give it a stir. You want to strain the liquid through a fine mesh sieve into a four cup measuring beaker. Then pour it into a clean bottle and cap it. All right, here's our finished product. It's going to yield you about one liter, and in the refrigerator, it will last you up to eight months. Enjoy. Cheers.